Yo, yo, reporting live and direct, reporting live and direct. Y'all know what it is. It's taping this to Health and Hustle Show, baby. Detroit King Tay reporting live. It's the Health and Hustle Show. This is a uh, a big day, you know, as we going live. I'm going to try to go live every Wednesday. I've never been live before, but I always said if I was going to go live, it was going to be for a purpose. And so this is definitely, you know, a purpose worth going live for especially uh when we're doing a virtual book signing so every wednesday at 7 p.m eastern time and 4 p.m pacific time we're gonna go live uh, on instagram live i'm gonna try to incorporate the other lives as well uh this is all new to me so you know bear with me but we gonna put this together and like i say man this is the health and hustle show straight off the muscle it's health and hustle Mob shit straight off the muscle is health and hustle. You feel me? So, you know, I want to talk about uh, music today. That's what the topic is. I, I said and thought of that. I said, damn, man, it's, what's so crazy is that in all neighborhoods, we all want to be, you know, fucking rappers and shit. Like everybody, everybody think it's the thing, it's the trend, it's everything in the hood to be a, a rapper, you know, so... I just wanted to make sure that we uh, kind of go over this and touch on the basis of this. Like I say, man, this is all new. We're going to put this shit together. You know, we're going we gonna to build it one brick at a time. So just bear with me. So let's jump into some a quick some music to turn it up for us real quick. Easy. Hey. But I came up hard though, making boss moves on the smartphone. Say she love me, but my heart cold. Now I ain't in the break, no hearts though. Had to let her go. Nine times out of ten, she ain't gon' correspond on the federal. Bitch gotta get it in with me. If you really wanna win with me, little nigga wanna shop. Least gotta spend ten with me. Spend a hundred with me next time. Hit me only on the work line. Flock of birds with the bird's eye. Super clean for the 35. Hey. Get money, that's all I can say. It's never gonna stop. Man, I'm get money, that's all straight I can say, man. You know what I'm saying? Safe. Like, straight from the money counter get to the money, safe. How you know you know how that feel to, to go straight from the money counter to the safe, baby? You know what I'm saying? Like, when you running that shit through that, and it's going from the money counter to the safe, baby, you know? That's a good feeling. If you're doing that today, man, give yourself a round of applause. You're getting some money today, give yourself a round of applause. Even if you ain't going from the money counter to the safe but give yourself a round of applause man you know what i mean like give yourself a round of applause if you're doing something healthy if you you woke up eating something healthy you know if you live in a health and hustle lifestyle give yourself a round of applause so uh, we want to talk about this and <clears throat> this ain't gonna be no long drawn out <clears throat> excuse me this ain't gonna be no long long drawn out thing right now what we want to do is we want to touch on uh the topic that everybody in the hood you know like uh they looking at rap as the come up as them actually making it out with that and i wanted to bring this to the table because we have to start thinking different that's why even as a rapper like after spending you know what i mean like a million plus dollars investing in my career uh and music and everything like i never made it to that success and i'm okay with that like i never made it to the success of other you know huge artists and things of that nature right there and that's okay with me i'm i'm cool with that part i ain't you know fame was never my thing because i was always somebody you feel me so i've always been somebody i've always had a name i've always had some type of status uh from just being me being myself being tape you know it ain't even just about detroit king tape it was just being tape you know so as i was um you know as i was saying like you still got to find somewhere to be you i mean some way to make sure that you are you and you're not just depending on you know like uh image making it to the top like especially with music we talking about music so let me stick to the topic so we talking about music so in music, if we we talk about music, right? So now I want to read something off of here. I want to read some uh, some uh, statistics from people coming up and rapping in the hood and shit, right? So according to a study by the Next Big Sound, a company that analyzes music data online, 
90.7% of musicians are undiscovered, which means that most rappers have more than a 90% chance of never making it. Did you hear that? A 90% chance of never making it due to the fact that 90.7% of musicians are undiscovered. So it doesn't mean that the talent isn't there. And just because you rap or you haven't made it to a level, it doesn't mean that you're not talented. Just like me, it doesn't mean that I'm not talented. Like I already always knew I had the talent and I was sweet as hell, I was creative. But at the same time, it just wasn't in the cards for me to break a big record. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've had success in the underground market and, you know, as far as, like, the people really fucking with my music and it's touching people. And that's cool. Like, I I love being more impactful because I'm going to get some money. You know, I'm going to get some money from somewhere. Like, I just, I at this point in my life, I love the fact of being impactful. And what I'm saying to this, I'm giving this to the young artists, though. So you have to know statistics, you have to know the analytics, you have to know the numbers behind this shit. Most rappers have a have more than a 90% chance of never making it, not making it, of never making it. The study also found that only 0.2% of artists are megastars. So when you talk about the Drakes, uh, the Jay-Zs, the Nas's, the 50s, it's 0.2% of these people, you know what I'm saying, of the artists are megastars. And 0.9% are mainstream, you know what I'm saying, who like really made it to the next level. And 1.4% are mid-sized and 6.8% are developing. Okay, whatever that case is. But the biggest thing that hits home right here is 90%. Like rappers have a 90% chance of never making it. So if you're rapping, make sure that that's not the only thing that you're looking to do. Like me, I always knew. And I didn't depend on rap to feed my family. So for the, uh, let's address that. Like if you have something else going on to where you, you're able to feed your family, you know, whatever hustle you have, and a hustle is nothing uh, more than a trade, a perfected trade. So if you have something that you're good at, and it could be rap. I'm not trying to discourage you and say you can't make it at rap, you know, or make it in the industry. It's just the way that the industry is now, it's damn near like you have to sign your life away and for, you know what I'm saying, the money. And you're going to be working for somebody for the rest of your life. So if you not, or for a long time, a duration of time, and within that time, you may have made them fucking billions of dollars and you make millions. That's why a lot of these artists you see, and it's no shade to the artists, salute to the artists, man, especially Detroit artists, man. We winning right now, man. Get them a round of applause. Get all the artists in the D a round of applause um, that's really winning right now and turning it the fuck up. Artists, producers, all that shit. You know, Detroit, stand up. Let's get it. You know? <laughs> Yeah, Detroit stand up. Let's get it. So, but any artists around here, man, like this is what I need y'all to understand. 90, more than 90, more than, a, most rappers have more than a 90% chance of never making it. That's the point I'm getting to. And these are stats. These are statistics. Some of the latest statistics. And so you talking about you got fucking more than a 90% chance of never making it. Then the percentage of you, especially the young artists, you coming out and fucking, you know, like the beef you got with the ops and everybody sliding, everybody spinning. Yo, you got, you going up against a mountain. When you trying to come out with a rap career and all that shit, you going up against a mountain. You going up against a hell of a structure that's so many things are going against you. That I would advise the youngsters now to figure out something else to do, you know, to, to like get, get a bag. Especially if you're doing anything in the content world and the um, influencer world, you know, like they doing the Twitch. They doing like it's so many different things that you can do, too. And I'm pretty sure the numbers on that is, you know, maybe slightly different than the, uh, than the rapping. But we know like to be discovered as a rapper 
or as a musician, as anything dealing with artistry like that, it's pretty slim to none. So if you're willing to take that chance and get out here, go right ahead. But I'm just saying for me, I want to give you my experience. And I know the times were different. The times have changed everything. You don't even have to put that type of bag up uh, to really, you know what I'm saying, get noticed and pushed. But you have to also understand if you don't have the bag to move and do that shit, you're going to get pimped in a contract. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, if you're trying to get on, you're going to get pimped in a contract. If you look at the majority of these contracts with these artists, they're getting pimped like a motherfucker. And, you know, I wish, you know, I wish they were more educated and everything. That's why uh, me and my partners came up with a company called Artists Deserved. You know, I partnered with them and it's a great company. And it's also giving artists uh, development, information, and trying to show artists how to capitalize and monetize off of their brand and allow them to brand themselves so they can also, you know what I'm saying, get to the bag without a major label, <clears throat> without the need of a major label, because everything a major label does for you is going to be a tax on it. You know, so it's a lot of things you need to know as an independent artist. So make sure y'all tap in the artist deserved. We on IG and uh, I think it's just artistdeserved.com. So you need to check that out if you need any assistance with uh, monetizing YouTube, especially if you got numbers. If you're doing numbers and shit, you need to get structure. You need to get to have the right infrastructure. You need to have the right marketing and promotion team working with you. If you got numbers, we can show you how to get a bag off that shit. That's why I'm working on my numbers right now to build it up to get my bag together with this content. So that's what it's about, man. So if you got it, you got some type type of uh, knowledge on. Uh, uh, the music industry, man, guess what, man? Salute to you. Give yourself a round of applause and share that information instead of just hoarding it, you know what I mean, or holding it just to yourself and trying to tax people to learn about shit. Won't you share the information? Ain't nothing wrong with sharing that shit, you know? Like, or find a feasible fee for people to be able to pay to share the information. That's what we're doing over at Artists Deserve. So I just wanted to tap in with y'all today. And another thing I want to touch on, uh, that's the music industry. So if you're going into the music industry, make sure you have some type of knowledge and make sure you know the numbers. Because you just see, you seen what they just said. Uh, more than, of the for the majority of rappers, 90% of them are not going to make it. So are you in that 90%? That shit like making it to the league. You know what I mean? You might have a better chance of making it to the league. You know, than actually becoming a rapper. So, and then that's that's with less risk. It's more risk being a damn rapper in the streets now with the the ops and sliding and spinning and all this shit right here. So it's an easier way to get a bag, man. Get you a trade, learn something else too. It's an easier way to get you a bag, man. I ain't trying to trying to hate on nobody's. You know, whatever you think your um. Uh, your journey is whatever your journey is your journey i'm just trying to give you a heads up on anything concerning this music game right now because i done been in on the spent bags and i had i owned over three major studios i had three major studios in the detroit area and all of them were upwards you know what i'm saying to the half a million dollar mark or million dollar mark um and you know i've had records i've had records with you know what i mean like platinum recording artists everything and you just have to pay for game. I don't care who you are in life, you have to pay for game. You're either paying with money, you're paying with experience, you're doing something. Or, or you're just paying like with work. You're working your ass off to figure it out. You know, so if you're working your ass off to figure it out and you've actually figured it out, round of applause to you. But if you haven't too, round of applause, keep going. All right, with that being said, man, I also want to talk on uh, and touch on, like, if y'all pay attention to anything, since we talking about rap, we talking about culture, we talking about all of that, you got to pay attention to how these politicians are playing on our minds with the culture because they need that black vote. You feel me? So I'm not going to get into the game of politics because that's not my thing. I don't want to really talk about it like that, but just seeing it. And seeing them attaching themselves to the uh, the culture and the black performers and the, the artists and all this right here. They don't give a shit. You know, they just want to be able to get that vote and get into the house. So make sure y'all paying attention and y'all not duped by what's going on. 
Yeah, I just wanted to talk about that and touch on that, man. Get you some money today. You know, and we going live today. We going to be going live every Wednesday. This is the kickoff of the virtual book signing. It's never been done before. Let's get it. That's never been done before. We doing a virtual book signing, man, for the Hustle Code. If you haven't got the Hustle Code yet, go to DetroitKingTape.com and get the Hustle Code. And we're going live. Uh, we're going to start live on IG. I'll figure out how to incorporate the other lives, but we're going live on IG. Um, 7 p.m. Eastern Time and 4 p.m. Pacific Time. Let's get it, man. All I can say is get some money, man. Get money, get money. That's all I can you know say. what I mean? That's what the hustle code about, dog. That's what we doing. That's all I can say. We hustling hey. to turn this shit up. Get money, get money. Let's go. All get money. Say. All I can say. The hustle code, baby. Tap in. Get yours, hey. Hey. You know I mean? get, get yours money, today. You know what I mean? Get yours today. It's here for you. Yeah. And we're going to be giving away. So we giving away, like, man, I'm, I might give away 100 books, man. Who knows? But I'm going to be live today, and we're going to give away a gang of books. If you're interested, tap in. We're going live every Wednesday. Let's go, man. Get yourself a round of applause. But I came up hard making boss moves on the smartphone. Say she loves Y'all know what it is, man. I ain't in the breaking no hearts, Detroit though. Had to let her go. Nine times out of ten, she ain't gonna correspond on the federal. Bitch, gotta get it in with me. I'm out, man. Have a productive day. Let's go. Make sure you balance in that health and hustle lifestyle. Spin off shit straight off the muscle. It's health and hustle.